I'm here today to tackle four frequently asked questions about art therapy. So let's get started with that. Hi, I'm Rebecca DeGraw from Rainy Day Art Therapy Studios. Rainy Day is an art therapy studio that works with adults and adolescents using trauma-informed and mindfulness techniques in the art therapy sessions. Rainy Day is located at the Bridgeport Art Center. Currently, we are open uh, for sessions and to take all major insurances. If you have any questions, please email me at rebecca at rainydayarttherapy.com. I'm here today to tackle four frequently asked questions about art therapy. So let's get started with that. Question number one, is art therapy right for me? I think that art therapy is right for everybody. But to move for further with it, I would say that art therapy is a really good fit for people with disabilities. It's a good fit for people with trauma and it's a good fit for children. Art therapy works in ways without words, which is very helpful for people who are struggling to find the words for their experience. I think that the real question when people ask this is, is this therapist right for me? There are so many different ways that you can look at that question. I think the best way to do it is to go through one session with a therapist and ask yourself how you're feeling at the end of that session. Do you feel like you have made a lot of progress? Are you feeling comfortable? Do you feel like even though you didn't make progress during that first initial session, that this therapist is going to be the person that's going to be pushing you towards your goals? That's how you know that you're in a good spot. Question number two, what does it take to be an art therapist? Every art therapist goes to a master's program where they are on the job training for two years. After that, they have two years of supervision and then they have their ATR. The ATR stands for a registered art therapist. In Illinois, art therapists also have the option of getting their LCPC, which is Licensed Clinical Professional Counselor. When you are looking for an art therapist, ask, ask about their credentials, ask about where they went to school. Uh, those things can help you figure out if it's a good fit for you. Question number three, do I have to be good at art to do art therapy? The answer is no, just straight up no. You do not have to be good at art to do art therapy. Art therapy is about your journey with the art materials towards growth and healing. If you are weighed down by the idea of making a perfect art piece that gets in the way of your healing process, art therapists are trained to help you use the materials as a technique to meet your goals in the therapy session. I think if you are finding that you have a little bit of anxiety about using our materials at first, that's a good thing to talk to your therapist about. And it's a great way to start exploring materials that don't make you feel like you have to have it perfect. Materials that are a little bit more loose and flowing. Question number four, how does art therapy work? Art therapy works when you are with a therapist that makes you feel comfortable and safe when you're asking the right questions, when you're using materials in the art therapy session to help push your therapeutic goals forward. Art therapists are trained to use visual symbols, to use materials, and to use movement. When you're combining those three things and working with your therapist that makes you feel safe, there are infinite possibilities for art therapy to work for you. It's an individual process and so when you first show up at the art therapy session, you need to be prepared to work through your goals and work through your emotions. Thanks for listening. If you have any other questions about art therapy or what art therapy does, feel free to email me at rebecca at rainydayarttherapy.com. Also, if you're looking for sessions and you're interested in finding an art therapist, I would love to help you find the right fit for you. I hope you have a good day.